I just picked up this amazing condition metallic red PlayStation Vita. And in this short 60 second video, I'm going to show you how we can mod it and add homebrew straight from the device without the use of a computer. The first thing you're going to want to do is power on your device and then hook up to a local Wi-Fi connection. Next, you're going to want to make sure that your device is up to date on the latest firmware. As of right now, it's 3.74. Okay, now we can start modding. Open up the web browser application and type in this URL, deploy.psp2.dev. And when the page loads up, you're going to want to click unlock. Once it loads up to the install splash screen, you're going to want to install both Henkaku and Vita Deploy. When those are finished, head over to the settings menu, tap Henkaku settings, and then enable unsafe homebrew. Now it's time to open the Vita Deploy app and downgrade our firmware. Select the quick 3.65 install. Follow the prompts on screen and it will install the new firmware just like a normal system update. And once it reboots, congratulations, your PS Vita is now officially modded. Be sure to follow for part two where I'll show you how you can add games.